Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kyle Busch's M&M's Crunchy Cookie Bristol Dirt Race Win from 2022. As always, take a quick look at the box. Once again, you just have the generic box with the race winner sleeve shoved over it. They made a total of 936 of these things. Honestly surprised that's not higher. This was Kyle's only win of the year. I guess maybe people at the time just thought that it wasn't going to be his only win of the year. I don't know. But being a brand new paint scheme and everything, I'm kind of surprised that's not higher. But anyways, here is the car itself. Said the brand new crunchy cookie M&M's car. The final one of the, you know, brand new flavor special primary paint schemes. So we've had those for a few years. Now you have the caramel car, the hazelnut car, the fudge brownie car. Now we ended up with a cookie car the final year. This, of course, does come with a few things. You have your little race winning sticker. You have your race winning stack card. Good picture of the car in the background. Kyle holding the sword and all that. Here you can see the stats and stuff. It said he only led one lap. He did steal this race at the end of the race, thanks to Tyler Reddick. This also does come with this. You have a little sticker for Kyle Busch's 60th Cup win. Didn't realize this was a 60th Cup win, but that's cool they added that. But anyways, let's take a look at the car itself. Like I said, this was basically one of his primaries this year. Not a bad paint scheme, but it's definitely not my favorite of all these, you know, special new flavor cars. The fact we've just had such beautiful colors lately, you had the beautiful metallic blue from the hazelnut car, then you had that awesome metallic purple from the fudge brownie car. To then just go to a kind of just plain baby blue color, like, I don't know. Still looks good, don't get me wrong, but it's just... This is definitely not one of my favorites of all these special primaries. So it is just a baby blue car. A lot of times it looked kind of washed out on TV, just kind of looked white. But so that if for some reason you don't remember this race, he did steal this. Tyler Reddick decided to dive, or no, sorry. Chase Briscoe decided to dive bomb Tyler Reddick, took them both out, and Kyle Busch in third one. It wasn't thanks to Tyler Reddick, it was thanks to Chase Briscoe. Almost forgot about that. The funny thing is, Tyler Reddick was about to get his first win, and, and it was a special paint team. Like, it was a reverse version of his primary 3 chi car. So we were about to get one of those, like, unique race versions. But then again, the fact that this was Kyle's final win at Joe Gibbs Racing, and this was ended up being the final M&M's win, I'm kind of glad that Kyle won this. That we got one final M&M's race version. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors and such. On the hood, you have M and M and M. You see the M is actually open, where you can see the crunchy cookie stuff inside. Got Toyota Camry number eighteen and Joe Gibbs Racing. Down the side, you have Crunchy Cookie. Got a picture of Mrs. Green holding an M and M's cookie, and then one of the M and M cookies. <laughs> On the back, you have Interstate Batteries and Ream. On the C post, you have Dewalt. On the B post, you have Toyota, JD Gibbs, Snickers, Twix, Skittles, Pedigree, and Ethel M chocolates. Rowdy's name on the name rail. Has your regular contingencies and such up front. On the back, you have Toyota Camry, TRD, and Food City, number 18. On the deck lid, you have Breathe Right, Mac Tools, Doosan, NATCA, Sherwin Williams, Siemens, Mobile One, and Lincoln Welders. On the roof, you have the same old line of MMs they've usually had. This is number 572. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. You see, this side has a picture of red breaking a cookie in half anytime you can get those actual like the full-on cookies with the m&ms in them those things are awesome i'll be honest i'm not a huge fan of this flavor when i tried it it's just like they don't really i don't really get a cookie taste out of them to me they just kind of taste like you know crispy crunchy m&ms usually do like they don't really like i don't really like if somebody just handed me one and said what flavor is this i don't think i'd ever say cookie to me but i don't know anyways let's take a look under the hood So you got Wix filters, Mobile One, Toyota, and M&Ms under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously no deck lid. The roof flaps, of course, do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. This, of course, obviously does have the Bristol dirt tires. That's interesting. There's like a little, like, it almost looks like a dirt mark on the bottom of the tread. I don't know if that's supposed to be there, but, oh yeah, there's one right there too. <laughs> if that's even coming across on camera. That's interesting. I don't think they've ever printed on the treads before. But anyways, now let's get down to the part everyone's waiting for, and that is the damage and such. This is definitely a little more dirty than Joey Logano's Bristol Dirt Win, but still not, like, crazy dirty or anything. 
you can see on the front that there is a you know pile of mud caught in the splitter right there as you see there's like a bunch of little dirt and mud splatters around the grill and everything you see there's a little bit of a mark right there looks like something he's maybe touched somebody some contact or something but the front end is just very dirty and muddy looks very nice you see, for some reason on these Toyotas this year, there's like hood pins around the hood flaps. I saw those on like Kurt Busch's Jordan 164, and I thought it was like a Lionel error, but it looks like they're supposed to be there. They're actually on the real car like that, so I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of that is. But See down the side, you see the you know right front tire has most of the lettering rubbed off. A little bit of some dirt probably built up right there in that little kind of indent when he was, you know, sliding in the dirt. There's some more dirt and stuff down there. You see it does have the, you know, little vents and stuff printed. Has a little tire mark through the vent right there. That looks like something that would cut your tire down. There's some little dirt and stuff around the exhaust. Looks like they dig into the wall a little bit or got into somebody else. The right rear is a little bit crumbled. On the back, you have a little bit of a mark down there. More dirt and tire buildup and such. The left rear, a few little marks and stuff. Again, the lettering is pretty much mostly rubbed off from there. Nice little donut right through the TRD logo right there. And big, huge tire mark or dirt, whatever, through the uh, exhaust up here. That definitely seems like it would cut your tire down. Whoever the hell he hit there. Once again, the lettering's rubbed off the left front. He has a few little marks and stuff. You see this also does have a bunch of M&M wrappers on the roof. Does have a pile of just regular peanut wrappers, but then you can see down there, there are a couple crunchy wrappers, or for the crunchy cookies. So I have to give them credit this time, they actually did get the correct version on the car again. I've said that in the past, there's been cars where it's been a special flavor, and then all the M&Ms on the roof are just regular, like, peanut or chocolate M&Ms. So, that's cool. You see back here, there's also another bag of M&Ms. You see there's some, like, I don't know what that would be, dirt? Would dirt get all the way up there? Is that, like, something from, like, Victory Lane with, like, maybe some rowdy energy or something? I don't know. Interesting that there's no actual M&Ms, just a bunch of wrappers. Like, usually you have the little, like, red dots and stuff. Were these all just sealed wrappers? I do like that they did at least pay enough attention where you can see, like, that is the backside of a wrapper, and, like, that's the backside of a wrapper. So that's pretty cool. Has the updated vent and all that, and has, you know, the actual good hood vents and everything, too. Another little detail that's worth pointing out, if you can see, is they actually did print the blue M&Ms on the lug nut... Hopefully that's coming across on camera, but the center lug nut does have the blue M&M on it. I'm curious how much they did that this year. What, did they do that? What, what, did, like, the Skittles car have, like, a Skittle on there? I don't know. But that is definitely a really cool detail. I have to give Lionel credit for that. The fact that they paid enough attention to give that detail on the car. If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. Although you might already be out of luck. This car was one of those cars that just went instant rare. Like, day one, it was already going for over retail, and now it's going for, like, $200 on eBay already. I kind of had a feeling this car was going to get rare eventually, you know, being Kyle's final win with Joe Gibbs Racing, being the final M&M's win in NASCAR. All that, I expect this car to get rare, but I didn't expect it to get, like, immediately rare. This is one of those cars that, like I said, this is definitely one of those cars that uh, you should have pre-ordered. This one comes down to, you know, the people that pre-order got one and some of the people that were just like, I'll just wait and get it cheaper down the road or now out of luck entirely because you're definitely not getting it cheaper. But if you want this car and you can find it anywhere still for kind of retail price, I would definitely say you want to grab it because it is definitely going to be a hard one to get. They, of course, did make the clean version of Kyle Busch's Crunchy Cookie Car. So if you do just want one of this paint scheme, but you can't get the race version, you can still get the clean Crunchy Cookie Car. That's always an option. Remember, for all of your other diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com, and if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Let's go check that out if you want anything. But I think pretty much all there is to say, this has been a review of Kyle Busch's Crunchy Cookie Bristol Dirt Win from 2022. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.